sustainer and provider. Your God of the mountains, God of the valleys, in good times and in bad times is still God. In light and in darkness, you will still remain to be God. So when we are happy, we glorify you. When we are in adversity, we glorify you the more. I pray that you will condescend this hour to tabernacle with us. May your Holy Spirit lead us into all understanding as we condole with your children. Is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. I speak as a woman, number one. I speak as a wife, number two. Allow me to speak as a mother of six children. I'm going on. If you lost your wife today, it is possible you can get another woman, hold her hands, marry and call her your wife. But we have men with more than one. Two, three, four. That is besides the extras that are out there. But when your mother dies, there is no woman you will hold her hand and say, this is my mother. No woman. They can be step, they can, they can be kyango, kyango. But when your mother dies, no woman will you hold her hand and say, this is my mother. So when we go to give birth, it's not certain we will come back. We go, it's 50-50. We can come back, mother and baby. Mother can come back, baby die. Baby can come back, mama die, or both can die. So when you still have your mother, you have all reasons to thank the Lord. And I salute all mothers that are here. Even when someone wants to think you're so small, they are here because you are here. I have the honor to speak to us. Having been invited by our brother Israel through her branch manager Kisu, Sister Anne. I pray the Lord speaks to us. We have spoken so many things. It's now time for God to speak. And may his name alone be glorified. We have been through a similar experience but uniquely. So let no one lie to you when they come to greet you that Ezra, I understand what you're going through. No one understands what you're going through. No one. Only Christ feels the deepest agony that lies in the heart of our bones. Only Christ. And that is a man I bring to you. The rest will just tell you, oh, I understand, I also lost my wife. Circumstances are different. And how we relate is different. Only God understands what we are going through. In a few years I've lived in this world, I only say, I will mix the language. And you will allow me mix even a like my only ones. In the few years I've lived and the robust experience I have. There are moments of adversity. I'm yet to come across one human being that has gone through what Job in the Bible went through. I haven't seen any yet. So when we speak of Job, I seek to answer the question, can we find wholeness in brokenness? 
Proverbs 24 verse 10 says, If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. But moments of adversity, nyakati za shida, are unavoidable. Inevitable. They must come, you like it or not, because the Lord has warned us beforehand that in this world you shall see trouble, but be of good cheer, because I have overcome the world. So we will die. Things will happen. They are beyond our control. But the Lord is teaching us in his word that if you faint, if you faint, ukikosa ngufu wakati wa shida, basi inamanisha hauna ngufu. So we can never measure the strength of a person in good times. Never. You can never measure the loyalty of a person in good times. These things are only measured in times of adversity. Wakati wa shida, ndiyo tutajua. Hii imani umekuwa ukizungumzia. Mimi iko na imani. Hiyo imani umekuwa ukizungumzia. Ni imani iko kweli ama ni mdogo tu? So we are introduced to a man called Job. And I love the description that is given about Job. A man that was blameless and upright. Fear God and shun evil. That is his spiritual life. And then we are introduced to familiarity. Bible inasema alikuwa na watoto wa kiume saba na wakike tatu watoto kumi. So ukinicheka wangu sita mimi nakueleza naendelea. Hakuwa na watoto kumi kutoka kwa wake wawili. Mke na mmoja. Tunatafuta wanawake kama hao siku hizi sijao. So that is the family life of you. The Bible introduces us to his wealth and possessions. I say that his possessions were 7,000 sheep. Ngamia, elustat. Ngombe, miatango. Punda wakike, aha, punda wakiume, miatango. And a very large household, so that this man was the greatest of all the people of the East. I have problems when church, some church members want to preach to us that money is bad. The children of God can be the wealthiest in the world. Adio, si lazima ukue na mali mingi. Ita kuelekeza kuwa ba na pesa wanataka wajenge kanisa. Ati bora uhai. Sasa mbona uziende kwa muhindi kwa ado ya. Umuambia niko na uhai nipe simiti miyamoni. What I know is the love of money is what is bad. But money in itself is good. Job was the wealthiest, but a man that also feared the Lord. The story continues. Na inasema kwamba kulikuwa na mkutano kule mbinguni. Mungu ana mkutano na wanawake. I suppose malaika. Alafu the adversary ambaye ni shetani akapatikana kwenye mkutano. Wana mazungumzo na Mungu na anamuuliza ni vipi umefika hapa? Sema nilikuwa na zunguka zunguka huko na kule nikajipata hapa. Na ulipokuwa ukizunguka zunguka ulikutana na job mahali. Listen to this conversation. Then the Lord said to Satan, that is verse 8, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil? 
And the devil responds and he says, Kwani Job? Ana kutumikia for nothing. Si ni vile umempatia hii mali ako naye ndio unafikiria na kupenda. And the Lord said this. But now stretch out your hand, that is the devil, and touch all that he has. And he will surely cast you to your face. Guza tu vitu wako nayo, uone vile Job atakuacha. Vile wengi wetu tuko. Huyu Mungu tunampenda tu wakati tuko na mali. Wakati hatuna tunasahau. Ama wakati mwingine tukiwa nayo hatumjui. Ikipotea tunamtafuta. And then the Lord said in verse 12. Behold all that he has is in your power. Chochote ako nacho kiko mkononi mwako. Only do not lay a hand on his person. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. I love it. And the Lord permitted Satan to tamper with Job in his every sphere of life. The question is why did the Lord permit Satan to tamper with Job's life like that? For one simple reason. He took pride in Job. Iko wakati utateseka si kwamba Mungu amekusahau. Ah ah, kuna mazungumzo ambayo wewe hauelewi iliendelea nini ilifanyika nini. Lakini unapitia shida kwa sababu the Lord is proud of you. See, have you seen my servant in this place? He can count on you in tough times. And when the devil began to wreck the life Iko wale wanasema nilipoteza mke wangu mwezi wa tatu alafu mwezi wa sita nikapoteza mwana wangu. Job alipoteza kila kitu kwa siku ngapi? Moja. Biblia inasema and while he was speaking people reporting what have happened and while he was speaking this and this happened and while he was speaking this and this happened. within a day he lost his wealth he lost his children. One day like this and then I love what Job said in verse 21 he said naked I came from my mother's womb and naked shall I return there you own nothing in this world and you cannot hold on to anything not even your family when you lose them the lord gave and the lord has taken away blessed be the name of the lord in all this job did not sin nor charge god with wrong as are you listening to Job learned to look at things in light of eternity. But there is life beyond this world. And the time is good. Ujifunze kujiuliza maswali magumu kabisa. Maswali kama kuna kitu nimeuliza Mungu anipe. Asipo nipa kutaendaje? Does it still remain to be God? The three Hebrew boys say, I know our God will save us, but even if he does not, we will still hold him. Why? Because they know there is a bigger and better life beyond this world. That is what Job is. I'm almost done with the summer. Can we experience wholeness in brokenness? Particularly when you are going through spousal loss. 
at a very tender age. Can you still be whole and complete? What defines your wholeness? I can tell. I'm here. I'm, 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 here. I'm, I'm here. There's some hierarchy in John's life. There is his wives. And then there is his children. Okay. And then we have his status because he was a wealthy man. And then down here we have his health. And I love it when the devil went back for a discussion with the devil. But no, I think he not touched his skin and was permitted to cause an infirmity on Job. But even in his infirmity, a cure on God, a second time that the devil is attacking, in his infirmity, still Job praises the Lord. So what happens? After you, after you, kuna kuna mali yake hapa kuna watoto wake status yake afya yake okay sijui mali bibi alikuwa sababu bibi ya job alikuwa akorota alafu chini kabisa hapa his foundation is god himself and then job says you can take away my wealth i'm not sure and the wealth Ah, unaweza chukua watoto wangu kumi na siku moja. Hii bado haitanishtua. Beba, beba mpaka status ya Najulikana ulimwengu mzima as the richest. I learned, I learned the other day that we have trillionaires, we have millionaires, billionaires, we have millionaires. And then there's this other rank of waranionea. And then we have anionea. So you've taken my wealth, I'm never shaken. You've taken all my seven sons and three daughters, I am not shaken. Umechukua status yangu, I am not shaken. Utachukua mpaka afya yangu. Job was sick beyond recognition. He was not shaken. But when they tried to tamper on his foundation, and his foundation was God himself, he stood firm and said, you can take away everything, but my foundation, you can never take. I am still Job without my children. I am still Job without my wealth. I am still Job without my status. I am still Job without my health. But I can never be Job without God. And so when his wife came and said, why can't you just cast this your Lord and then die? See, I have my wholeness in the fact that I have Christ in my life. And you can take away anything, but I will not allow you to take my God. So can we find wholeness in brokenness? As are you still complete, even without your wife? You will still be complete even without your children. You will still be complete without your parents and siblings. You will be complete without your friends and colleagues. Complete without your job. For as long as you have Christ, you are complete. For he says, without me, you can do nothing. That's only way you can survive. Otherwise, you'll find some funny woman here. There isn't a woman here just looking, say, hey, I come in and I come in. What? 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 So, you have something here, you have something here, you have something here. What? 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 that what you remain with is to take care of your children for the sake of your departed wife. They're very young. 
and going forward all the decisions you make will impact on those two children. Going forward. So kia wewe wengine hapa imebasi kati fupi na iko na makalio makubwa isikufu. Did I lose my piece of paper? Did I lose it? Yeah. Here come my man back in the paper I'm going to go. I've seen it. Listen to me carefully. When you study Job chapter 13, Job 13, Let us go there. I'll only read two texts. If I add it, it will be one more. Thirteen. How Job responded to this situation. And defends himself. Verse thirteen. Wakati marafiki wa meongea kila kitu. Nani meza kwa nashiki mbaka watu wa zeku. Huyu ya kwa nashiki za babu. Ali sacrifice mtoto kwa iluminati. shida inaweza kupata mpaka marafiki wa karibu wakakushuka Sasa aibu ana majibu yake Anasema hivi mstari wa 13 Anasema hold your peace with me and let me speak for what the book gives who has a job job chapter 13 what does it say Yes Why does he get the courage? In verse 15 he says, "Though he slay me, yet I will trust him." Praise the Lord. Yes. Kana Mungu 
kuhusu ifanyike sita ya msuku nitaendelea kufanya nini kumwamini is god of the mountain god of the valley still remains to be god in good times and bad times god of the day the god of the night Yet Moses said, "Even so, I will defend my own ways before him." I'm finishing chapter 19. Chapter 19. Go with me to chapter 19. He says this, "For I know that my redeemer does what? Lives." There are moments I've gone through tough times until one time my sister-in-law told me, "Elisa, unatoanga wapi nguvu?" I told my sister in law siku nitaona tu kwa TV breaking news Mungu amekufa ndashuka Because before the, before God dies I should I will be so dead But for as long as my redeemer liveth life is still beautiful Amen Your children are not in your hands not even in your ngulia it will go hii kaisha hii hii kwa mbili tatu washa itegea watapotea nayo Ana ngeli shai kwa mtu amewekwa hapa kuangalia rongolia si ndio eh chungwa hiyo hiyo kitu si yenda kwaenda nayo itaenda kwa watu wako na damu ya paka kwaenda itaenda your children are not in the hands of not even your parents no one should lie to you that will help you take care of your children no one Your children and yourself are solely in the hands of our redeemer. Amen. Because he lives I can face. I have not seen that small boy. We called him Lion. I guess it was Helen. He removed the HD. Remember? In memory of your life, of your wife. Say how we do hold a new born baby and feel the pride and joy gives but greater still and life is worth not because your spouse lives not because your children live have been three days children and they forgotten their parents kwanza kipata mtoto mvulana akaoa bibi kihere akafita ile town hapa kusi hata si Nairobi ni town hapa tu kisi hapa hapa usione mtoto wako uliza ulichoma matafali ukapeleka shule ukauza ndizi ndizi na miwa hapa keupo hapa unakimia ukifuata mabasi kijana anaenda shule amemaliza amepata kazi akapata msichana akamtoa kwako una nyumba let me tell you our parents don't live large because they want it they sacrifice their investment to make you some So when I see a woman pull a son from his mother I tell you you're married to the ex-wife of the devil <laughs> Before you can have a fridge make sure your mother has a what make sure In fact if you can have your parents have a car before you have it the pet But I see people sitting here nice suits looking good but your parents are neglected at home Hadi sababu 
kama fulani kama kuwekea kama mama ame kuwekea kama mama watu wa kwao wakikuja you feel bright kama mama kuwekea watu wa kwenu wakikuja unaenda nyara wewe sana let me complete that verse my redeemer for i know my redeemer lives he says and he shall stand at last alive everything can go where is this wind coming from everything can go is what job is saying everything everything can go there is one person that cannot go and that is christ so i know he lives and he shall stand at last My redeemer is the one that remains. And he says and that's how my skin is destroyed. I could be looking bad today. Have you been frustrated until your colleagues tell you your face is rough? You are losing weight. And you see you cannot open up and tell them what is happening because you are the girl in the office. Sasa imekupata. So don't be sick. And after my skin is destroyed this one I know I cannot be certain about other things but this one I know that in my flesh this same flesh this one I shall see God who I shall see for myself mtu ataniona ah mwishowe tutabaki na Mungu na katika hii hii mwili yangu hii nitamuona hakuna mtu ataniona nitamuona mimi mwenyewe and my eyes shall be whole and not another how my heart yearns within me job is ready but i've lost everything but i can never lose god but even when i lose myself i know in the end i will meet the redeemer when he comes i will so mko sikuingia sana ni kama mbeba maisha yako hapa hakuna wanadamu mbeba maisha ya mtu wako hakuna hata si bibi yako hata si bwana yako mama ndani jana kolenda ha bwana yako na gome hata mama yako ni wewe ni mimi ninasaidia kwani wote mungu kwa watu kama simi huyu ni bwana yako anakuambia ana kutoonyea ha si mama kidete mwambie sikiza hata wewe maisha yako kwa uyaelewe Yeah. The number of your days no man knows in this earth. Unaweza kufa mbele yako? Yeah. Unaweza kufa mbele yako. Kila nitabaki na ambaye hakufi is Christ alone. And he is coming. He is coming. And when he comes, I am sure I will see him. First Corinthians chapter 15 as we close. Chapter 15. Paul is discussing the fact that Christianity finds its meaning in the resurrection of Christ. If Christ did not resurrect, then it's futile to be a Christian. What gives us joy and hope is the simple fact that there is a hope of a resurrection morning. There's life beyond the grave. And then he finishes it off in verse 51 and says, "Yeah, I am telling you a mystery we shall not all sleep. Hapo ndio anakosana na watu kwa matanga wakati wanasema sisi wote tutakufa. Sisi kila mtu anakufa. Iko watu Yesu akija atapata wakio nini? Hai. Usifanye makosa ambie watu wote hata wewe utakufa. Nani alikuombe? Kama mimi sioni nilikufa mapema. Baike re sioni. sio mafundisho ya Biblia. Biblia inasema sio kila mtu anafanya nini. Wewe kama unataka kuona mapema waenda tu. Not everyone will that. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must
has put on immortality. If there is anything you should be chasing in this world, is immortality. Nothing else. Kimiza, Marisha, Yamile, Yeme, Kusumbu, Sio vitu vya dunia hii. Kuna vile wanawake wanateseka na urembo. Teseka sana. Wewe kuwa mweupe. Baka mafuta yote kwa mwili ambao utaoza. Mimi nangoja siku Yesu anakuja labda nitamwambia si unipatie nisikie tu inakuangaje mtu akiwa mweupe. <laughs> Sasa ni kama watu weupe wanaringa sana. Baba unafanya sisi weusi tunapaka mafuta ya kuwa ni. Baba na kama mama kanibadilisha rangi. Baba amekuwa green, purple, black, blue. Aloelewi sasa rangi yake ni gani. Jamani uko sawa ulivyo. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Who will who 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 see who ta ingia mbinguni. Atakapokuja Kristo who will lazima utabadilishwa. Usisumbuke na pimples zako, usisumbuke na miguu midogo midogo, usisumbuke na makalio madogo. Hiyo yako ndio yako. Hakuna haja ya kuongeza. Hamna haja kabisa. Wengine wanakazana kubeba matiti ikue kubwa. Matiti itaanguka upende usipende. Kama hutanionyesha miaka itailazimu iende chi kwa sababu ya kitu physics inaitwa force of gravity. Wacha kujisumbua. Hichi maisha yako. Live a carefree life. The only thing you should focus on and chase is immortality. Hiyo maisha ya milele, hiyo 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 hiyo. So Paulo anasema atakapokuja atakapokuja huu mwili ambao unaoza huu lazima ubadilike huo mwili usioza na kule kufa kwetu ubadilike kwamba hatuwezi kufa tena wakati huo ukifika so when this corruptible has put on in corruption and this mortal has put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory oh death where is your what steam oh heads where is your victory ah leo tuko kwa matanga ya helen tunamzika kesho sijui itakuwa kwa nani tutazika watu tutazidi kuzika watu usipokufa leo utazidi kwenda matanga lakini iko matanga moja mimi ninangoja matanga ya mtu anaitwa kifo siku yake pia imekuja. Iko siku tutakaa hivi tukizika kifo. Iko siku inakuja. Tutakaa hivi na hakuna mtu atalia hiyo siku. Wapi wapo analia? Wengine wanalia ukweli wengine wanalia uongo. Ushaona mke mwenye misumbuo bwana yake kabisa. Na akikufa analia ni kama hakumzumbua. Yalo na leo ikodo yanango chakweka nyenga ingo chakera hapo tu pale uliwaje wali unafanyia nini Anze Matanga ya kifo hatutale matanga ya kifo tutafurahi Tutafurahi tukimuuliza where is your word yes This is my prayer Ezra. You can still be whole complete in Christ. Everything can leave you. But do not allow Christ to depart from you. I learned that Christ can depart from us. I learned. The spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. Did he? Yes. When they went to war with the Philistine and they brought in the ark to the battlefield and the Philistine came and took it to the temple of the god and that day Israel lost the battle and the wife of Phineas cried as he was giving back to her child and said each of both the glory has done what watoto wa Mungu Mungu anaweza akakuacha usiache Mungu akuache Job alisema sikiza mwambie bibi yake sikiza Unataka niachane na huyu Mungu wangu? Wewe unaweza aenda. Wewe unaweza aenda. Unajua walielewa nyakati zile kwamba the Bible says that 
a wife is still on. Yani, uwezi ukaolewa kama bado ume wako hajafani. A wife is still bound by law for as long as her husband does what? But when he dies, he's at li- she's at liberty to be married to whoever she wants in the Lord. So mke wa jamba lijua. Na kama mbona amechaka amechaka kupita kiasi. Na ilikuwa maombi yake ya kufa raka ni afanye hivi. Ah ba. Mke si mtu si yule jamaa ukufu sababu unanichelewesha kuna mtu anafaa kufanya nini? Kunio. Napenda mungu wangu sana. Usiwache mkoe wako kwa sababu na tabia mbaya. Baadaye anapombariki Job akampa tena watoto kumi. Biblia inasema warembo kupindukia. Ukienda nchi gani mtafuta urembo na uhandsomeness utapata. Utaipata tu kwa nyumba ya nani? Ya Job. Walizama na wengine. Walizama ile kelele. Ile kelele ile So usiwe bibi ingine eti huku ingine inakaa mbaya. Hapana. Hii hii tu hii back na ni baraka itakuja ina wakati wake ina wakati wake so he tells his wife and i think i sign out from there he tells his wife when the wife tells him to give up and uh, he tells his wife verse 9 chapter 2 then his wife said to him do you still hold fast to your integrity cast god and die but he said to her you speak as one of the foolish women speaks shall we indeed accept good from god and shall we not accept adversity in all this job did not see with his lips as like that is what i leave you in bad times we still accept god in good times let us accept the lord let us accept that this is the the will of god for the will of god is perfect going forward your tomorrow is uncertain it is not in your hands going forward your tomorrow is in god's hands the arm that steers the universe may the lord bless us in jesus holy name Amen. father god we glorify you but we can lose everything but we are still whole when you are with us May we not lose you for chasing the things of this world. May we be able to look at life in light of eternity. We thank you for this privilege we have had to celebrate the life of Helen. And as we speak here, she hears nothing because she has closed her chapter. As that remain, I pray when our time comes to sleep, we will sleep in you. Because we'll be sure when you come in the clouds of the sky, this which is corruptible will put on in corruption. This which is mortal will put on immortality. Ready to reign with you eternally. Thank you for taking captive of this meeting. And thank you for holding the reins for us. Forever may your name be glorified. Is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. If you look at the program at the back of it I was what captured my attention was several weddings and one thing is common we have Ezra and and Helen as the best couple I only call all those that were supported by this couple in their weddings to come forward Allow me call all of them. All of them. And this will not shake you. All of them.
I want to believe uh, we are done with the photo session on this section. Thank you so much, and uh, at least for you, you have uh, a memory that as long as you together, you shall remember our sister Helen. You free to go and sit. Thank you so much. Pasta, oh, 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 oh